there people. I wanted to take you back to this machine, the Commodore 64, a great system. And back in the day, around 98, 99, you could actually already emulate it. Vice wasn't present yet, but there was a great emulator by Mia, and that, and that was called uh, C64S. Yeah, I actually transferred quite a few of my uh, games and I just wanted to let you know what emulation in 1993, uh, 1994 was like, Commodore 64 emulation. Okay, so here we have the directory, uh, type the 64 doc more so it, it, it just shows you what the layout of the uh, d64 files are i believe this emulator c64s actually laid down the foundations for the um, the various uh, c64 emulation files so this really deserves a tribute so the c64 let's 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 just run it and see what it's all about. C64S. So, yeah, a DOS prompt, pretty good colors. And if you press F9, you go to the option menu and it's, uh, you, you press Alt, Alt options, and you can see the screen uh, refresh. Uh, this would actually run on 386, 486 computers. 486 could run this full speed options there's a monitor a joystick tape let's let's load in a tape let's try speed load cybernoid tape and then load so uh yeah sound 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 chip sit chip emulation wasn't the best yet and perhaps not all the um all the interrupts and stuff were emulated, but it was a very good emulator. Uh, but, but the sound is, of course, not, not the same as you uh, expect on a Vice, for example. No infinite lives. Uh, joystick port 2. And of course, we have to go to options. Uh, joystick. Joystick port two. Yeah, it it would also support the analog joystick on the PC, but um, start game. Hmm, I'm, I'm curious what what the second alt alt. Okay. But, but this, this, this was possible on uh, just a bare bones 486 uh, system. Uh, some discs, Turbo Sambler, Galaga, oops. Ah, this is the, the easy, uh, easy mode Galaga. Press return. One, joystick. So, mind you, we were sitting at the computer lab, uh, telnetting and gophering away on the web, on the World Wide Web. And I would go to FTP uh, F Funet V, uh, FTP site in Finland, to download some uh, Commodore 64 games so I could play them on my emulator. And I think the C64S emulator really was the most advanced system. It had a monitor. Uh, so it, it had a program counter and a monitor, so you could you could actually see, um, yeah, and debug and trace and whatever uh, options. Uh, let me see, um, help. So read, help on help, <laughs> read, uh, help help contents, emulator, desktop, disk, very comprehensive, uh, very comprehensive uh, 
emulator. And uh, yeah, Mia, Mia Petonel, 1994, great emulator. And uh, yeah, if you are into Commodore 64 and you're into emulation, you really should, um, should have experienced this emulator because this was uh, among the best back in the day. And uh, yeah, kudos.
Actually, the, uh, the website is still there. It's on uh, www.c64s.net. It says it's still alive and there's uh, an alpha version out. Uh, so C64S uh, Windows versions. Uh, there's download versions not available anymore. The scene, there's some uh, some some movies and stuff. Oh, C64 for the iPhone. Oh well, this is uh, this is Mia, and uh, yeah, it's um, he's still around. At least the website is still around, and uh, I do hope someday uh, this alpha will materialize and we'll be able to uh, experience uh, what was the greatness of C64s.